Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a little video on my Stanley Camp cook pot where I was testing it, showing it with different pot stands, and I made the comment that the bottom edge of this is tapered. So it made it hard for some of the some of the stands were like right on the borderline of being able to hold this pot. And again, like I said in that video, or I said in the text rather, that it wasn't a reflection on the different pot stands, but rather that the pot had a taper on it. Anyway, I got a comment from Colorado Camper where he said that he thinks the tapered bottom would work very well with the side burner or the Venom Super Stove. The taper might give the flames more contact area to heat. A test of the Venom or Super Cat or the hybrid side burner that he sent me with the large holes might give a surprisingly good boil. That sounded like a contest to me or whatever. So I thought maybe I'd give it a try. This is the stove he's talking about. It's a side burner. He calls it a hybrid because he made larger holes on it rather than the small ones that you usually put on here. He also has nails in it. Cut off nails. I don't know if I can get them out, but oh yeah, here's one. He put small nails in here where he cut them off to elevate the pot, the cold pot, up off the stove because the cold from the pot will dampen down the, vip the vapors. Okay, I got it out. Now can I get it back in? There we go. If the cold pot sits right on a stove like this, it knocks down the vapors. So by elevating it a little bit with nails, it should help with the startup. I also think that maybe something like a piece of carbon felt on there might work good too. So I thought I'd give it a try here today. Use his hybrid side burner. I have one fluid ounce of methanol. See if it'll fit in there. Yep. Seems to fit in. Here we have the Stanley pot, mug, whatever you want to call it. Two cups of water here, currently setting at 60. See what happens when I put it in here. Room temperature is 71, almost 72 degrees now. <clears throat> okay, let's see what that does. Hopefully it'll get down to about 60. Let me light this. Wait a little bit for it to heat up. See now the the flames are already coming out the side. Okay, 61 degrees, two cups of water. And let's see where that goes. Okay, there we have 610, or 210, 211, 212 in 7 minutes 42 seconds, 7 minutes 42, let's see how long till run out. Okay, there we're going, gone, let's say it. 11.46 pretty cool okay so that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees became, came to a full boil of 212 uh, degrees Fahrenheit in 7 minutes and 42 seconds on uh, one fluid ounce of methanol using Colorado Camper's hybrid side burner stove and this is a stove because you can put the pot right on it rather than it just being a burner not bad for a little handmade stove now just for a reference 
on the last test, I did it on this uh, Alex. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. A L O C S. It's a Mini Trangia 28T style base, but I modified it where I put these grooves on the the supports here, so that I can put wires across just like so. And with this, it came out to 8 minutes and 59 seconds for a, t a, a get to a boil. Now I've had some people ask me, why did I put them like this? Why didn't I make a cross? Well, crossing is a whole lot more complicated as far as how do you make the, the rods you know, jump over each other. Plus, if it's going across, you have a point in the center where you've got wires sitting over top of the burner. So I just did it with this. But anyway, I get getting off subject here. Not bad for a little stove. The thing only weighs 8 grams or 0.28 ounces. It's made out of the, uh, what is that, 5.5 fluid ounce soda cans. So not bad at all. So I guess you're right, Colorado. Colorado camper. It does seem to work pretty cool with this tapered bottom. Now the other the thing is, this would only be good for boiling water. You have no simmer that you could use on this like you can with a Trangia. But weight-wise, I mean, you can't hardly beat it because it's the, the whole stove, the, the burner and the stove mounts. You could easily put it in a plastic bag and stow it away inside the pot. So, not bad. Again, for information on how to make these things, you can go to that Zen Stoves. I'll put the link to it down below. And you should go to Colorado Camper's uh, channel. He has some really good videos there. He sent me these. Okay. So, that's test one. I've had requests to do it with uh, Sterno, testing this with Sterno. I had another idea of maybe playing with here, of putting a blanket of carbon felt around this outside. I think that this is acting like a big heat sink and, you know, sucking the heat off and putting it out into the air. Maybe if I put a, a coat of the carbon felt here, maybe down to about here, to hold the heat in, see what that does sometime. If somebody else has already done it, let me know what what results you get. Okay, so I thank Colorado Camper for his stoves and for his suggestion. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.